Welcome to the Fabulous Lifestyle Radio Show. Tune in for a vibrant mix of fashion, finance, and life's essential foundations. Join us for expert interviews, insightful discussions, and empowering insights to elevate your lifestyle. From fashion trends to financial tips and personal growth strategies, we've got you covered. So grab your headphones and get ready to be inspired. Tune in now to the Fabulous Lifestyle Radio Show and embark on this exciting journey with us. Welcome to the Fabulous Lifestyle Radio Talk Show. I am your host, M. Teresa Lawrence, here on KCAA Broadcasting Network, 1050 AM and 106.5 FM, where we cover over 5 million households in the greater Los Angeles area. And we are affiliated with CNBC, NBC News, and NBC Sports. You can listen to us every Sunday at 3 p.m. Pacific Time on any of your favorite podcast or streaming channels. We are also in Roku TV, Amazon Fire TV, and Android app. Just subscribe to Building Solid Foundations channels. Today, you are in for a treat. Our guest today is Deborah Ann Cruz, and Deborah is a licensed psychotherapist, executive coach, certified employee assistant professional, and twin flame love relationship matchmaker. I'm very interested in that one. (laughs) Uh, She has an impressive track record spanning over two decades of dedicated service to clients worldwide. Her unique approach and wit, described as a dynamic cross between Dr. Phil's straight-talking practical wisdom and Dr. Ruth's compassionate guidance on love and intimacy, has positioned her as a trailblazer in human growth and development. She has survived Not one, not two, but three near-death experiences and is celebrated for her profound belief in the power of positive thinking and its impact on healing individual lives. Deborah is good at actively listening to people and understanding their problems. She's been known to help clients put words to the emotions too complicated to describe to help them feel better, make good choices, and find friends and partners who are right for them. Deborah believes that everyone can have a happy and successful life no matter what problems they've had before. Her latest visionary project, Your Strategic Wealth and Prosperity Blueprint, I'm also very interested in that one, Uh, (laughs) it embodies the commitment and offers actionable strategies with an individualized plan designed to catalyze positive change, unlock the potential within, and show people how to be their best selves and live happy lives. Deborah isn't just a professional, she's a visionary and a healer. Dive into her world of transformation, wisdom, and humor to discover actionable insights to unlock true potential. Prepare to be inspired by Deborah Ann Cruz. Re-envision a brighter and happy future. Welcome, Deborah, to the show. Thank you so much. I'm so happy to be here today, and I, you have no idea. I thank you so much for this opportunity. This show is called Building Solid Foundations, Mm -hmm. and I always start the show by asking people to share their journey, just highlights of where they started and how they got to where they are right now. It's been an evolution of childhood trauma, dysfunctional family, youngest of seven children. I had to really figure out along the way how I was going to make it in this world, because I didn't have parents who could give me the guidance I needed and along the way I just learned to depend on a higher power. I think a lot of people can relate to that. Yes, yes, yes. yes. And I use that a lot with my clients today. How to how to how to tune in to that higher higher power to get your guidance and your wisdom of how you're supposed to live your life. Oh that's beautiful. So tell me you've had three near-death experiences. Mm -hmm. What were they like, and what did you learn from them? The first near-death experience, I was a pedestrian hit by a car in 1998. Uh, One of my neighbors hit me. (laughs) Um, But I want to... I bet you a lot of healing (laughs) happened between you and that neighbor. (laughs) Wow. When I was walking across the street going to work one morning, getting to the bus stop, and she hit me with her car, and I flipped over her hood, and was on the ground, and I really couldn't believe this happened. But I remember being on the ground, and I remember doing a scan of my body and and just talking to myself. I'm like, okay, no bones are broken. I can hear people talking. And it was like, at that moment, a very distinct voice came to me and said, are you going to listen to me now? 
Wow. And I knew exactly what that voice was because since eighth grade, I had been getting messages that I should be a therapist, a counselor, healer, or a leader of some type. But I didn't believe in myself. I didn't think that was possible because of all the childhood trauma. And it took me a long time to figure out what that meant. But I knew at that moment that that was an assignment from the universe. Isn't that amazing how yeah. when you are not on track, the universe <laughs> brings events into your life that sort of shock you into reality? In an instant, in an instant. And I knew at that moment also that I said, I don't know what this is going to be like. I don't know if I'll be able to walk. I don't know, you know what's going to happen. But I know that the universe was going to give me everything I needed to survive and, su and succeed. And that's happened. Otherwise, I wouldn't be here with you today. But that was near-death <laughs> experience number one. Oh, yes. <laughs> this is crazy. Every person I know that has gone through a near-death experience has expanded exponentially from that experience. Yeah. So, And I'm sure several of you can relate to what Deborah is saying. It's a shocking experience that just just shifts your your path yeah. so what was number two like number two i um had a heart attack uh 2003 i had a heart attack um and i they said it came from a medication my doctor had put me on you know when women get a certain mm -hmm. age they put them on certain prescribed hormones mm -hmm. gave me a heart attack three months in i didn't know <laughs> what i was gonna do with that, um, I remember being in the hospital and I remember asking God, having this conversation with God, like, okay, how do I rank these? What's worse, the you know childhood stuff or the back surgeries? I had four back surgeries from that accident. I said, what's, what's worse? How do I rank these? And it came to me like, okay, the common denominator in all of this was me and my thoughts. And oh, I beautiful. decided then that I wanted to have a life of abundance and not a life of, of lack or a mentality of lack. And at that time, I even told people who wanted to come and see me in the hospital, um, no, I'm fine. I just kind of wow, kept that negative. Is so powerful. I had to keep negative energy away from me, even some family members. And it was just me and God and having that, that, that direct path into what, how I was going to live my future. And it really helped Okay, that is really powerful. The power of the mind directing oh, your, your future path. And how did the third one happen? <laughs> the third one was a acute kidney failure. And um, like three years later, and, and mind you, all this time I was in graduate school. When I got hit by that car, I immediately enrolled in graduate school to get my master's so I could become a counselor. Mm -hmm. I started in social work. And all that time, I was taking classes. And in between, it took me eight years to get my license. But when I had the kidney failure, again, from an allergic reaction to medication, I felt all of my body system shutting down. I couldn't eat. I couldn't see colors. And it was so amazing to me because it was like, I always looked at my life like a laboratory. Mm -hmm. So I remember the time, and it took them five months to diagnose what the issue was. But I remember riding in a car one time, and then all of a sudden, I could see the colors and flowers. And I said, OK, there it is. I'm getting, I'm well. Things are going to things are gonna come back again. Things are, life is going to be good. And I was able to, you know, start planning again, just get back on my cycle of life. So I want to interrupt and just say for the audience, Deborah has just described all of these things that have happened to her. And if you met her in person, <laughs> she is the most positive, you know, uh, like she, she looks at the future as a gift from God and her mind, it's as if this happened to me, it happened and I'm moving on. So powerful, right. uh, really. Thank you, thank you. Just, just incredible. And from those experiences, what did you develop in terms of what you're offering to, to the world? It helped me to develop a program of how my clients and anyone who will, who will listen to me, a direct path on how they can live their purpose-driven life. I believe we're all born to serve a purpose, to help heal humanity. We have to do our individual parts if we want to. Yeah, a lot of people don't, and that's okay. But I choose to help, 
and I choose to, to be that person that can really help people get along on their path of being happy. We're born to be happy, not to be sad and to deal with all this craziness that's going on. And I want to go back mm -hmm. because I, I'm very interested in helping uh, victims of sex trafficking. Mm -hmm. And you spoke about, you know, your, your sexual abuse. And I know that as part of your coaching, you help people process that. Could you share a little bit about that aspect of your coaching? Sure. One, one of the evolutions in my career has been to decide who I wanted to work with, the types of people mm. I wanted to work with. And along the way it came, I wanted to work with high-functioning professionals. And I didn't know why. I uh, surmised that high-functioning professionals are leaders. They're all leaders. I don't care if they're an accountant or a doctor, lawyer, or running a car shop. They're leaders leaders to me and they help other people. So I figured it was my job to help them deal with anything that's keeping them off of their path of being healers and helping them to regain their sense of divinity because we're all divine okay. spirits. So right there, hold that thought because it's time for a commercial break. Stay tuned and we'll be right back in a moment. Welcome to the Fabulous Lifestyle Radio Show where we talk about food, fashion, finance, and foundations of life. We are live on KCAA Radio Broadcasting Network. KCAA is affiliated with CNBC, NBC News, and NBC Sports. We are sponsored by Sheltered Studios, Fire Connect, and Building Solid Foundations. 